don't think I'm gonna cry, people. I wanna introduce a special guest. Things I found in food. Like, like, like band-aids. Health department sanitation, L and I. I mean, I would have the FBI. Especially those real gangster bugs from the hood. I can't hold out on y'all. I can't hold out on y'all. I was gonna hold out on y'all, man. I was gonna scheme and keep this spot to myself. But it's worth a mention. Guess what Toon found the other day, randomly, by accident. Guess what I found? Guess what I found? Guess what I found? This John is banging. <laughs> oh my God, I think I'm gonna cry, people. People, Toon is gonna cry. You don't realize how good this tastes. You're not gonna believe me. On 5th and Champlas in Philadelphia, I found, wow, vegan general toast sauce. And this John tastes popping. Poppin.com. I mean, this junk tastes amazing. It smells amazing. It tastes better than it looks. Yo, this junk is crazy. This blew away the Center City location. It blew it out the ballpark, and it's only four dollars and ninety-five cents, my dog. Four ninety-five? What? The other junk was like eleven oh seven for one platter. This is four ninety-five for this junk. <laughs> I just want to say thank you, thank you, Chinese people. Thank you. I appreciate it. I think I gotta call up the homeboy Tune, and we're gonna get Tune. Yeah, we're gonna get Tune for an interview. We're gonna interview this guy and see what he feels about this platter, and see what he thinks about food. Radical dude, gnarly. Welcome back to the vlog, y'all. Today's a very special vlog. I wanna introduce a special guest to the show. Thank you for coming to the show. We got our boy Tune. I appreciate you coming to the show and taking time out of your day, bro, bro. No doubt, no doubt. When we gonna talk about the food? Where the food at? My boy ain't waste no time, right? He's straight to the point, yo. All right, all right, I got you. So let's talk about food OCDs. OCDs? Who got OCDs? Yo, what's up? Let me get a five for 20. I need some, dog. What's up? Who got OCDs, dog? Nah, bro, not that, not that. Obsessive compulsive disorder. What you trying to say, Holmes? You trying to say I got some type of disorder or something? What's happening, Vato? I'm about to shank you, Holmes. Didn't you want to come onto the show to tell the viewers about your OCD, though? Hey, yo, don't be talking about my food. Listen, don't mention my food. Don't stare at my food. Don't even say the words, your food. You know why? Because you're talking about my food. My bad, my bad, my bad, bro. Listen, dog, it just irked me. It irked my skin when people stare at me while I eat. Like, Bro, what, you want something? Like, why you gotta watch the spoon enter my mouth? Back up, boy. let the airplane, you know what I mean? Go down the runway without security watching it, dog. Like, and now that we talking about food, then this fool bring me on the show to talk about food, and now we not talking about food. We gonna talk about food. I need my food well done, extra crispy, like flavorful. I need flavor packed food. If the food isn't flavorful, like, it's not food to me. I have a strong palate. I have a really strong, I just need stuff with a kick, dog. Like, what's up? Like, whoa, I do that. Dragon Ball Z type stuff, you feel me, dog? The weird shit is, I don't like nobody cooking my food. It messes up my mind, Lato. I like to prepare my own food. Um, but didn't we just see you eat a General Tiso broccoli earlier from the Chinos in the hood? What about that? Hey, yo, shut up. That's not the point. That's beyond the fact, dog. Like, it goes deeper than that. Like, let me let me explain it to you. Who this fool think he talking to? He better put some respect on my name. He better put some respect on my name, dog. If I had an unlimited supply of food and a kitchen cooking space to cook from, then honestly, I prefer to cook my own breakfast, lunch, and dinner because I can monitor the sanitary conditions and how the food is prepared and I can cook it based on my liking, based on my taste buds, on my own palate. I know how to season it the way I like it. However, because I'm in the trap house, I'm in the trap all day, no running water, no no stove, no, no you know what I mean? Like, we in the trap, trapping all day, I gotta take the gamble and I gotta just guess it meanwhile and, and eat out and I don't always like to do that, so I try to make my best judgment. And I know sometimes your best judgment isn't enough when you're eating out. First thing is, back then when I used to eat meat products, I wanted my meat well done. And bro, let me tell you how I used to go to multiple places, and sometimes, multiple times a week, like, they'll see my face, let's say two, three times a week, and I'll say, can you make this extra well done, extra crispy? I'll get out the place, I'll get back to the lab, i chew into it, i take a nice bite, chewy, like, like, like rubber, or like, just ugh, like flesh like bro like y'all can't get it right i go here back to back to back i come and you guys still can't get that joint right like you you feel me like wouldn't you get fed up with it too and and that's not including all the fast food joints i used to go to mcdonald's wendy's 
Burger King. I needed it cooked thoroughly, and none of those motherfuckers ever cooked that shit well done, dog. Like, I would tell them over and over again, well done. It takes you an extra five, ten minutes of your life just to make it well done, dog. And it, it was like drawing. And, and cooked food is separate from things I found in food. Like, like, like band-aids, like hair, like, like, like package wrappers and, and different objects inside my food, dog. Like, one time, I was in Dunkin' Donuts, dog, and I was waiting in line for a croissant, right? I was waiting in line for a croissant because I was trying to get my croissant on, right? You know what I mean? Croissant, you know, from Dunkin' Donuts, you know what I mean? Home of the donut, right? So, I was getting my croissant on, and I was in line about to, you know what I mean? About to diddy bop to my croissant dance, right? So... I stand, something told me, oh, the croissant guys told me, they said, tune, 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 look past the counter, I looked past the counter, right, and I just, just decided, senseless, like, I was like Marlon Wayans, zoomed, I zoomed in, and I saw the croissants, dog, you know what the croissants was on top of, a cash can, dog, the gate, it's like a gated tray that holds the croissants, I guess so it can stay warm, you know, the metal bars are separated, so it's vented, basically. A brand new tray of croissants was directly on a spherical trash can, a traditional trash can that you put outside or a trash can you have in the kitchen, filled with trash, you know, gnats, flies, bugs be over the trash can. My guys and girls, they had that John on the trash can, and I'm like, <laughs> and my shaggy voice, and I'm like, Rappy, rappy, do like no, that's not correct. That's not sanitary, my friends. I lost my appetite. I told people, like, eh, look at that, John. No, look at that, Vato, Vato, look at that. They was like, that's it. They was like, I'm there, huh? Yo, they were like, eh. I walked out. I didn't wait to see if they ordered any or not. But dog, stuff like that. It was like it was just my luck, bro. What a trash can? That is vicious, dog. Y'all hear that? A, tra a trash. Can? Yo, I would've been like, bleh. Dog, I would've went inside that drone, like, like with the Matrix. I would've just like, I would've just did some capoeira on him and like, you know what I mean? Like, some Tekken. I would've hit him with the, with the Tekken 2 moves. I would've took it back to Tekken 2. My G's, when I used to go to places like Checkers or like Wendy's, I would order my meal. I'd get all the way back to the lab. Mind you, minutes away, maybe on a tight lunch break, on a tight time frame. I look at my bag, ooh, I'm about to get my eat on. E on, right? And I thought I was gonna get my, my little E on. I open up the bag. Yo! They forgot my sandwich! Dog, I get all of the lag. You don't know how many times, multiple times a week. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was like, Ashley Kutcher, where you at, dog? Y'all doing a new rerun of punk, right? And y'all got two involved in this job? No, bro, it was not no joke, no nut. Yo, I would have to go back. Like, I'll be all frustrated. Man, yo, y'all, y'all forget my job. How you forget my job? I only ordered a 50 cent softy and, and, and a 99 cent burger. Spent a dollar fifty and you forgot the most important part of the meal. Yo, bro, like things like that demotivated me from, from eating out and, and and I'm real anal with my food. I hate to say it like that. The struggle was real, dog. The struggle. I got a teardrop tatted right here on my finger because the struggle was real, man. But tune, 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 tune. Let's be real here. You don't think that's just bad customer service at one location? Like, come on, one location. It can't be all of them. For real, for at one point, I thought it was the universe telling me, like, oh, tunage, stop eating fast food. Like, because it was too often, bro. Like, even the local spots. I remember one time going to this bodega on like 4th and Norris, bro. And I went to this bodega and I went to go buy like a cheese stick. I was hungry. I, I, oh, I was starving. I ordered, I think, a cheese stick with like salt, pepper, ketchup, mayonnaise, fried onions. Back then when I used to eat it with the works, right? And some, some french fries, right? So I placed the order. I didn't think nothing of it. I got my platter. I paid for it. I bounced, right? Tell me how when I left the building, luckily I was probably less than 30, 40 feet from the premises. I'm dead hungry, so we in the hood. We don't sometimes wait till we get to the crib. We don't wait till we get home on the table. I'm gonna open that joint up as I'm coming out of the store. So I'm coming out the store, I'm about to cross the street and I open up my little platter joint and I wrap the wrapping that was on the cheesesteak because here in Philly, they wrap them in a cheesesteak and they, they wrap them in a, an aluminum wrapper and they cut that joint in half, right? So I wrap my one half and when I wrapped it, I was about to take a bite in it. Luckily, I inspect my food, dog. I looked and there was a band-aid, dog. Yo, I was sick. Like I was, I was angry. I was sick. I had mixed emotions. Like I'm like, is this a joke? Like come on, dog. Like, and I remember that 
I was so anal that I wasn't eating. I, I, I burn bridges. Like once I, once I see something not going cool sanitary wise, or, or I get poor customer service at a location, I won't go there again. So, yo, I was burning bridges left and right, and this one spot I tried it brand new because I was trying to get onto a new spot. Like I was like, damn, too, you killing yourself. Your OCD is that bad that you're not, you're not able to, to, to actually to enjoy food people are able to go out to normal places and eat and you can't even eat bro because you're like no 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 so i'm like all right dude you do you gotta attack it dude you gotta beat it dude dude beat your lc dude dude you can do it dude and i'm like yeah 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 i tried this brand new spot and bam that john turned me off from that brand new spot i went inside i took it to the dude the dude's like you you want to make another one no nah, dog can i get my bread back i lost my appetite you found a band-aid in your cheesesteak dog what oh no 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 mm-mm Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. mm 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 Health department sanitation, L and I. I mean, I would have had the FBI, I would have had the CIA, I would have had the, the, the MIB, I would have had everybody over there. I would have had Agent J, Agent K, A, 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 Agent M, A, Agent, yeah, Agent DMX, Agent. Yo, we would have had the whole Slim Shady Agent squad in that joint. You know what I mean? Because listen, that when I went down with my food, I thought, damn, tune. So you ain't got no luck, bro. You ain't got no luck whatsoever, do you? Fool, what you trying to say? I ain't got no luck, dog. Listen, listen, listen. I may not have no luck with food, dog, but listen. The lottery, bro, I already won the Powerball. Real rap, real rap. Word up the Mom Dukes. Two years ago, won the Powerball. Yeah, Google it. No, 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 no. Not like that, but you won the lottery, dog? Break, break, break me down, dog. Break a brother down, dog. Honestly, that's why nowadays I just have to make my best judgment and, you know, try to examine a place ask questions and hope for the best because i'm able to eat it because there's a disconnection i don't see how they prepare it i don't see the i'm not there to scrutinize the facility and pay attention to every detail i would hope that the place would be sanitary enough and you know they follow through with it but you know everybody's beliefs are different it, what he believes is cross-contamination isn't what she believes is cross-contamination if that makes any sense so i just sometimes have to cross my fingers and and pray to the general toast gods but I put it to y'all like this. For years, I haven't eaten my pops cooking. And my pop was Chef Bard Pop. Like, my whole life, like, I, I thought his food was popping.com. Like, he was a chef to me. I stopped eating his food years ago. My mother's food stopped eating her food years ago. She don't live with me, but when she did cook, I used to eat it. I stopped eating it years ago. Her food was probably like 15 years ago. My pop's food was probably like 8 to 10, 10 years ago. Uh, my wife, I've been with my wife for going on 8 years. And she has not cooked for me yet. And that was by my choice. I didn't want her to cook. I cook and I prepare our food. I cook for both me and her every day. And I have no doubt about it. No question with it. I enjoy it. It's a piece of therapy. I know what I'm eating. It feels good. I know I'm cooking is going to taste good. You know what I mean? I always make enough for your boy to have extra. Because your boy is fat. You know what I mean? I'm a beat maker too. So make sure you check out my SoundCloud. To Nagrafe Entertainment. Hottest beats on the block. Yeah, you already know. But if you want me to break it down for you, it's like this. If I'm boiling a pot of water for eight minutes to make some soup, and the eighth minute go down and you dip your finger in just to see if it's warm, guess what? I'm dumping that whole entire pot out and restarting again, because that's OCD. I don't want it, I don't like it. When I cook and while I'm preparing food, I wash my utensils and my dishes several times in between even using them. I'll cut this, I'll wash it again. I'll cut this, I'll wash it again. i wipe that surface, I'll do this again. I, I pay close attention to every single thing where I'm placing it. I don't even cut vegetables next to a sink because the sink splashes, like OCD. I need my plate set up a specific way. I need my food placed a specific way and I need to eat in privacy. I don't need no one looking at me. OCD. If people offer me food, my automatic response is, Thank you, but no thank you. I'll pass. That's an automatic twitch in my head. Something that says, Say no, no thank you, no thank you. Tune, tune, no thank you, tune. OCD. I couldn't eat food at your house cooked by you. If you invited me over, I could not eat your food. You know what I have to do? If you want me to eat in your household and eat with you guys, I'd have to prepare it on your stove. I'd have to dice, slice, cook everything up, and then I would eat. I can't stand a kitchen with bugs. I can't stand bugs around my food. It's, 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 especially those real gangster bugs from the hood. The gangster bugs from the hood. When you're there and you slice it and you dice it something, and they come up like, doo, 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 doo. so dog. And I'm like, yo, dog. But I'm, but I'm cutting, dog. You, you gonna disrespect me like that, dog? I'm here cutting my food and you gonna, and he like, and he flipped me off. Yo, and then I tried to squash boy and he was just like, playing, playing, red light, green light, and and I'm like, huh? Like I was like, yo, I was all in, out. 
ESPN in the game, dog. 2K19, got dog. Once my food gets spongy, mushy, slimy, stale, I don't want it. I can't eat it. OCD. These are my viewers. It's sad, dog. Why is it? It's, it's hard. These are my like, viewers. Like, Why is he taking the show? Dish. And if something's off or wrong with that dish, that'll flip my whole entire mood. My whole entire just appetite will be gone. I would not want the dish because there's a tick in my mind that's like, Attack! Get over here! I do get. Oh my, oh my bad! I forgot we was on YouTube and viewers and stuff. When are we gonna talk about food? Because as far as I'm concerned, you wasting my time, bro. Time is money. <sighs> Say it like that. It sounds crazy. Your anus, your anal, but I'm real anus. Oops. <laughs> I'm real anal with my food, bro.